Welcome back. We're going to be recording another video from here onwards. This time, it's going to be Cole's weekly mission called Junk Run. So all, all I'm basically saying towards you guys is um, when we when we go into this mission, majority of stuff is going to be set. Now, last week's mission for Cole called Sneaky Sabotage, if you didn't check it out, I've got it in my, um, I've got it on my YouTube. You can go ahead and see it. If it happens to rotate uh, and you missed it last week and you are coming back to Warframe, you're like, oh God, what's this mission? I do already have a guide out for it. Feel free to go and check it. But this one, a majority of stuff is set. Last week's one, it wasn't. So a lot of people were getting frustrated because they had to all like, Every time you went in, things were scattered all over the place. It's not like that on this one. A big disclaimer right here, right now, okay? The only thing that is a little bit different is Gene Sam's being on dead guards, but the dead guard locations are exactly the same. As per usual, I'm going to timestamp absolutely everything, so feel free to go ahead and check it out all below. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to we're gonna go and jump straight into it. Feel free to play alongside with me as well if you want to, and I'm going to show you how I approach all of these and get them done as quick as possible, all right? So let's go ahead and start the mission. Uh, chat also i'm recording on twitch i'm recording on youtube doing both at the same time but chat if you've got any questions that you know maybe someone might ask on youtube feel free to kind of like chuck them my way now and then i can also answer it as i'm doing things but otherwise i'm just going to kind of switch off and just basically show people what i'd be doing where i found it or what we're looking for okay show chest unbelievable okay right let's go and get into it so we'll start off the mission nice and quick i'm just gonna open up my mini map on the right hand side so you can go and see that as well it's gonna be four cages on the right hand side now this week's rotation for this mission junk run there's actually no ostrons here but essentially if you're looking for the ostrons inside the challenges um it's one at the bottom there if you're looking for the ostrons they would be in a cage like this okay and you know it's the cage because it's got like a little hack you know when you like hack any pads it basically looks like that okay so anyways four cages here and the only other thing that i found in this area is as you're moving towards this you can't miss it just stay to the left this might pop up there we go there's one dead body over here okay so this might be your first gene stamp so we got one gene stamp right Anyways, let's go ahead and move down here. The hacking is going to be relatively the same. The idea is you're just simply going to move the camera and then activate the button on the hack and that's going to open this up for you. All right. We're going to move down into this next area. The only thing you need to go and know of, there's a deacon here for now. Um, you can even wait for him to rotate or if he gets in your way, you can go and use your third ability and stun him. And this way you can kind of go in front of him, you know, give him the old one to let him know who's boss. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go into this tent. Now that we're in this tent, hack on the hack. And then simply go and click this. It's just going to change the power from one one area to the other. Uh, we're going to come out the tent. Don't worry about that cage for now. I, there's nothing in there. And I don't even know how you would even get to that cage. But don't worry because it's... You'll see what I mean. Go do it yourself. Anyways, we'll keep this nice and quick for you guys so that you see what's going on. There's a dead body here. So if this is on your rotation, that's great. Just come over to the left. If it's not, don't worry. All right. Um, so the deacon's over here. Does he follow me? No. Okay, I'm good. I'm just out. So let's move into the next area. Nice and simple. We've got two gene stamps now. Okay. And I believe there was a dead body somewhere around here, but I might have missed him a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's a dead body there as well. So if you need another dead gene stamp, there's a, there's a dead body there on the path into this area. Uh, now we're inside this area. Um, all you're going to go and do, this is very simplistic, is you're going to be accessing this camera here. And on the left hand side, you've got a shock mine and you've got a drone and then you've got the deacon. If you activate the drone, it attracts the deacon to move over towards it. You activate the shock mine and the deacon's dead. Now you do the same over here, drone first and deacon seconds. Okay, and you can see it nice and clear as day there, they die. That's all you need to go and do here. Now we're going to head up over here. Hopefully you guys are keeping up with me as well. And there's a dead body inside this kind of uh, willow tree um so if you needed a uh, gene it might be there uh, inside this area i'm calling it the three two one it's nice and easy to remember there's uh, three dead bodies in this area there's two ostrons in this area two cages for ostrons and there's one soma cords um so far i don't think we've we've saved any ostrons so far have we no i don't believe so so this will be the first ostron that we go and save is right here so as you can see ostron prisoner and like i said there's just a little hack there you simply hit it and you don't have to do a hack it just unlocks it and they're going to go and run away Okay, so that's one of those. And I've got two, I think, genes, was it? There's going to be a dead body here. So this is one of the guards. There it is there. So when you come into this area, just stay to the left. Get the Ostron, get the guards, check over here. Run around the back, jump up on top of this. Cole can, Cole can grab ledges, so don't worry. There's going to be another cage here, so feel free to check this one. So there's my second Ostron. There's going to be a gene stamp over here. Another dead guards. I think that'll be my third one. Soma cord currently on this rotation is always in the same spot it's right here okay 
So we got the Soma Chords. Um, I've been down here a few times and I haven't found anything down there. So I'm going to say that you can ignore that for now, but feel free to explore your own time. You know, if you need to pause the video, if you're playing alongside with me right now, just, just pause and then go have a little look. But I'm going to run over to the third body over here. Like I said, three bodies uh, to check. Two Ostrons that you could go ahead and save. Two Cages and then one Soma Chords. That's what I'm finding so far. Again, if this mission does come up and if it comes up with different challenges or different positions uh, in the future, just trying to just try to adapt and always keep searching out. So there's another gene stamp. So I think I'm like three gene stamps now, I think. Was it three or maybe four? I'm not too sure how many gene stamps I had, sorry. Um, but you would be doing your challenges along with everything here. Uh, one of the other challenges is you don't want to die for this week. So you don't want to go and die. That's going to be easy to do. Don't worry. Collect five gene stamps. Again, I'm just showing you the locations. Uh, remove five, five veils. Now, if you did cold last week, um, when you wanted to go and remove the veils from their face, um, it was Solaris United. It's Nama this time. Grinny and Nama. Um, don't get me confused. The first run that I did of it this week, I was looking for Solaris United going, huh, I haven't done the challenge. Uh, turns out <laughs> it's actually the Grenier Nama that we come up against at the moment. Um, that's the ones that you want to go and use your third ability on and then pull the face mask off of them, uh, which is actually something cool that happens after that. Anyways, there's another Ostron right here. You can go do that. And there's another dead body just down here. So there could be a gene stamp right here. It would pop up, but uh, it's clearly not that one. So let's keep heading down here. Now what we're going to go and do is go the main way. So we took a bit of an off course there. We're going to go the main way with the, the waypoint selling us. I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm saying this because this is. A, I'm trying not to be picky here. But when you do this, right, the only purpose of this camera is to do that. I, I kid you not. Like, there's literally, don't worry. If you're looking around going, there's got to be something. There's got to be something. I've spent way too long looking. There's absolutely nothing else you could do with this camera. I don't understand why it's like this. But anyways, you literally just move this camera. Click. Click. <laughs> I'm all for cross patterns and changing directions and so forth. But this just seems really like unnecessary. You might as well just give us this camera. Anyways, a bit of a tangent. There's another dead body here as well. So if you need to go and get a gene stamp, there'll be one there on your path. You can't miss that one anyways. So now we're actually going to go and start fighting the, um, the battlers here. So you're going to see something pop up on my screen right now at the bottom. Protovia Armor Challenge. Now, I do want to go and talk about this part very, very briefly. Can you see on my armor and cold, like the shoulders right up here? Uh, or maybe the legs. I don't know if you can see the legs down there, but it doesn't matter. But anyways, the shoulders that I currently have right there. If you've got Protovia Armor and you haven't done the evolved Protovia Armor, you know how you can get... Uh, Protovia Ephemera or like Protovia Cyandana. They all require like different challenges. Well, this one requires you to go and get sentient kills. You can actually throw it on coal, kill enemies with the uh, armor on and actually gain progress to the sentient kills and evolve the armor. It's pretty cool. So two birds, one stone, right? Anywho, sorry, just to go digress or give you guys a little tip. Now we're on the next part. You might hear a bit of a ring in here. If you don't see the light, it's basically telling you to pick up this Helion thing. This is a jetpack. Um, so this will be your jump, double double tap jump thing. So let me see here. So we're going to be in this area. I'm just going to go right a little bit here and then start tackling on these first. So there's two ways you can go ahead and there's two ways you can go ahead and somewhat approach this. You can either go ahead and kill these ones if you've already done the challenge. So you don't have to do what I do in a second. If you haven't done the challenge, stun them and then remove the veil. So if you don't have the accessibility option on, you're going to have to tap E, but there is an accessibility option. So if tapping E hurts your wrist too much, or um, if you have a disability of any kind within the, the hands or arms or something that restricts you, um, there is an accessibility option for you guys. Um, you can simply go in towards the uh, options and turn that on. And instead of pressing E, um, you can actually go ahead and hold E. So if it's better for you guys, feel free to go and turn that option on, okay? Just go ahead and browse your accessibility options if it helps you guys go ahead and get that done, all right? Don't uh, don't strain yourself. Anyway, so what we've actually done here... Oh, what we've actually done here is as we're getting these, you'll notice in the command mode in the top right, look, these guys are actually joining my team now, um, which is a blessing and also a curse in disguise. But I'll show you why it's a curse in disguise a little bit later. But it's a blessing because these guys can now kind of do the shooting for you. So that's great. Um, so I'm going to open up the minimap again. Now you'll see this. My chat's telling me that this is green. Uh, color deficient, forgive me. So this right here is optional. What I mean by this is if you need the challenge for the thumper parts, this is where you get the thumper parts. If you've already done the thumper parts and you're just doing a second run here, you do not need to do the green part. You can move over towards this. I believe 
they said that was red or orange just follow the main route but anyways if you need the thumper parts it's just down here nice and easy let's go and run right down here oh by the way if you need another body it's up here to the left so there's another gene dead body collect them and there's also another ostron cage right here so you go and get another ostron like that i don't know how i'm not counting in my head how many of these i've done now so hopefully you're keeping up all right anyways we come down here there's a hack right there and then all we're going to do look on the left hand side see that pattern we're going to go ahead and do the left hand side here and match the pattern to that one and then this one we're going to match the pattern to that they're actually identical and then we're going to go and hit this and that will drain the water uh, don't jump in too quick because you'll just basically black screen and then come back out so it'll count as a death if you will that way it's not really a death but you get the idea um you're in like uncharted territory but otherwise you can run down here and if you need the fumble parts boom challenge done all right lovely jubbly uh, i don't believe there's anything else in here no dead bodies soma cords or anything like again soma cord hasn't rotated yet but you get the idea um so anyways let's keep keep going and keep continuing if you don't know much about command mode i mean you should know a lot about command modes, but essentially when you activate it, for me, it's G. If I, if I do left click, I can tell them to go ahead and wait there. Um, this will come in handy for one of the challenges. Um, and then if you right click, you bring them back to you. Um, so if you need to go ahead and put them away because you're too busy wanting to kill these yourself, then uh, you can just do that, okay? See, like, I didn't get the uh, Protovire armor sentient kill challenge there. So um, if they kill it, if they kill these sentients for me, I can't actually upgrade my Proto. Yeah, like that. I can't upgrade my proto armor, which again, it's just the challenge if you've got the proto armor. If you don't have the proto armor, don't worry about what I'm saying. I didn't get that either. So yeah, these guys can come in handy. They uh, they'll do a lot of shredding. So see, so yeah, I got the kill there. So proto proto fire. All right, so I'm just gonna let these guys go and kill because I don't really care about killing here. Okay, so here's another one. Now, out of uh, all of these Ostron, uh, sorry, out of all of these um, Nama guards that there are in there, I believe there's a total of six and you only need five, all right? So if you want to kill the sick one or whatever, you're more than welcome to. Um, and if you're, if you're coming back in here, a lot of these enemies and a lot of what I'm doing, you can just skip. Like, I'm not joking. You could just run through all of this if you don't care for it or just get knocked down like I did. <laughs> um, you can kind of skip all of that if you just don't care for the enemies and you just want to keep going. Don't worry, Cole's pretty tanky, so you're not going to have too much of an issue. Or you can just use these guys, use these guys to go ahead and shoot for you, like I'm doing. Feels like I'm playing Necros right now, basically. There uh, should be another Nama guard down there. Ex excellent, so we're going to take him. The uh, splash of your third ability, like if you can't... You don't have to aim it directly at them. So if you want to, like, aim it at the ground. So when you go ahead and uh, throw your third ability, feel free to, like, throw it at the ground. And it's got a good amount of AoE on it. So it's an easy way to take off their mask and just get a guaranteed stun. Uh, there is something down this side, which is not the normal way to go. See where you go down there. You can go down here instead. I'm just going to kill these guys because they're annoying right now. I believe there's one dead body down here. Oh, no, sorry. There's actually one Austrian cage and one dead body down here. So just go to the left here and we just kill whatever just let them kill him then because i can't be bothered there's one ocean cage here so i believe that might be my last ocean i'm not too sure but if you are looking for another cage there's one there and just underneath here there's a dead guard that right there as well okay you can go and pick those ones up um there is a way to go and get move there's a way to go and get behind you don't have to take that route uh, i don't know if they'll patch that but um, you can go like over here but again i didn't find anything back here but just on the off chance that maybe a soma cord rotates in the future um feel free to go and check this little part all right it's not so hidden but you can see like where i am on the mini map i'm kind of considered off the map um but in case anything happens to rotate in the future right just i got you covered okay uh, it's just a little kind of cave back there um so if they do rotate anything uh, hopefully that will uh that'll be a nice little place for you guys to go and check okay Anyways, let's go and... Oh, I'm stuck. Let's go and use this Helion pack to get around because it's pretty nice. Carl moves very slow. <laughs> this is Warframe. We move way too quick, but Carl's moving way too slow. Right, keep killing. Um, so I'm going to show you how I also do the challenge for all of the kills in um, three seconds. Five kills in three seconds. Um, there's like an indefinite spawn of sentience, which I'll show you. So... Uh, inside this area, there's actually nothing here, but if you go towards the right-hand sides, uh, there's the last person that we can go ahead and get. Uh, throw him onto our team. Boom. Throw that at him. Let's get rid of that. I'll just take all of these guys so you guys can see where they all were anyways and how I did it. So, Just on the off chance that you need all of them. So there's six, I believe. There's six. So there shouldn't be any more Namas now, okay? Um, there is a dead guard body right at the very back there. Don't even see him. There he is. 
There he is, right there. There is a dead guard body. So if you need another gene stamp, you can get it here, uh, along with the uh, sixth Nama that you can go ahead and get. So we're all done on Nama right now. We should technically be all done on Ostrons, I believe, right now. Um, we got the Thumper parts. That's all done. Uh, we haven't died, so we got that mission done. Um, the gene stamps, I don't know. I might be missing one. So near enough, the only challenge that's somewhat remaining right now is get five kills within three seconds. And the main objective of the mission, finish it off. Anyways, so let's go ahead and run down here. We're going to go and click on this door. Uh, simply, um, this one, this top one is going to go to this left one. See, sorry, I'll just aim that one more time. It's just down there in case you didn't see it. So I'm going to go and tweak that to that. And then you just go down to the bottom right and there's one down there. And then that's going to go towards this. Click the door. That's going to go and open it and off you go. So top left, bottom right. Get the idea? Run across the bridge. So when you get into the section, just run straight towards this because you can get the Yanga. And honestly, this Kuro Yanga is way better than the Krakatar. Go figure. It's a heavy weapon anyways. But oh, thank God. Now the part of the mission is actually bearable. <laughs> the Kuro Yang, uh, Yanga is way stronger. Um, I've gone down, just to let you know, I've gone down this area quite a few times and I can't seem to find any dead bodies or anything. But just again, if it happens to rotate, feel free to go and browse down there. There's not anything down there right now, but just on the off chance. Um, anyways, the only thing you need to go and know inside this area is just come up here and there's going to be a dead body. So the dead brother right here. So if you need another gene stamp, check this area there. Uh, from here onwards, um, you're basically going to go ahead and interrupt this Nama just by waking him up. So you would essentially just shoot it like this and it wakes up. Okay. Um, you could just ignore it because you can't do anything to it right now. So it's just going to go and do a little hop, skip and a jump and kill these enemies run down here. Uh, there is also another dead before you go down there uh, you can just go towards the uh, waterfall over here there's another dead guard right here this one's actually quite hard to see you see it right there if i just move the map it's right there it's quite hard to see it was very well hidden just in a bit of a foliage but if you need another gene stamp check that one there as well whilst i'm doing this uh, how are you guys fighting the mission do you prefer this one as opposed to the last one let me know in the comment section below as well or let me know your thoughts about this mission you know don't be afraid to hold back this cool Aka, by the way if you kill him yeah look they go ahead and drop grenades i don't know why this rabbit thing's holding the grenades but it is why not right so anyways we get into the main area all we're gonna go and do is take on the thumper so uh, when the thumper comes down oh sorry when the thumper comes up um it's like a normal thumper. If you've not done Planes of Eidolon content before, you should have. Uh, you basically shoot off the shields and then you're going to shoot kind of like these. See these like triple greenish kind of bars? You're going to end up you're going to end up shooting those. If you can, try and jump over the thumper when it does that. Uh, now, when it jumps around, it can be a little bit annoying, especially when it starts to rotate. So I'm going to show you another way that you can go and do this. So right now, let's just go ahead and, and focus on one section. If my guys can move because they're literally tanking my hits. So when you see it kind of light up like that, it means you can't shoot that area anymore, okay? So we'll pop that one off and we'll do this. But anyways, if it gets to the stage where it's in the middle, hopefully it doesn't jump right now. What we can go and do is up above, if I just go and jump up right now, up above, there's actually these ramparts up here. And there's three of them. There's one over there, there's one here, and there's one down there. Now, if you do have these guys on your sides, they can, when they when you jump up here, they can end up teleporting in front of the rampart, which is really goddamn annoying. So um, just be careful with it. But the way that the rampant essentially, work, essentially works and what I'm trying to find, unfortunately, he's in a really bad spot. Let me try and see if I can push him out of the spot. Is you can shoot the rampart and it's only got one shot, um, but it will instantly overheat after the shot. But if you hit the if you hit the thumper, it will technically stun the thumper. Oh, I've been caught in it again. Can I jump? Oh, thank God. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, so now it's TP, TPs. When it goes to the middle, is it TP to the middle? Let's TP down there. Wait, where is it? Okay, it was literally glitched. Okay, so I'm just going to run over here. Hopefully, it doesn't jump and I can show you. These uh, turret angles are not very good. I'll be dead honest. Uh, D, you might have to change something here. Um, right, so let's try and use the rampart. And then use your mouse and then aim and shoot. Did it stun? Last time I did this, it did give it a good stun. Um, but if you do need to if you do need to stun it, you can use these ramparts, but look, you can't use it again right now. Um and sometimes it's also like undrop this like dropping my guns. So I have to pick my gun back up. I don't understand anyways. But yeah, um you can't use it until after it's charged. So if I just do that, I don't know if that works. So it's kind of glowing, I can't use that. No, it's not zapping again. It did it on how did I get knocked down from here? 
I have to patch that DE. That's a bit silly. And I thought Profit Taker knocked you down a lot. My goodness. Right, anyways, so let's go ahead and kind of keep shooting these. Now, if it does this rotating thing, and if the turrets aren't stunning it for some unknown reason, like mine isn't, um, what I like to go and do is I basically jetpack above it, and then I land on the side that I need to, and you can kind of stop it from doing this rotation thing on you. So, like, you see, like, if I try and do this, sometimes it'll rotate. Let's say that I couldn't get, get to that con. Can you do it now, please? I don't know. This fight it seems really buggy, apparently. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, if you want to, um, just basically go up above it. I didn't go to the side that you need. This is way quicker doing this. So you don't actually need the ramparts. But if you want to use the ramparts, you can. You don't need to use the ramparts. Okay? But this fight is actually genuinely... Genuinely quite quick. <laughs> that knockdown is obnoxious. Where's Prime Sure Footed for Cole? Am I right? <laughs> Um, okay, so the only other thing that's now left is the challenge. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you guys to go and do is you see all these guys, they're really annoying for this, direct them down towards where this section is down there. Okay, now I'm sure I'm going to get a few comments going, oh, Clark, that's not how I did it. That's fine. However you do it is entirely up to you. I'm just going to show you a way that I did it. Okay, now first things first, see these things here? They're called Brax or whatever they're called. Whatever. You need these ones here, right? And you want to try and gather up um, as many of those as you can. So what I'm going to go and do, if I kill this, I'm going to reset these ones here. They spawn indefinitely, okay? Even after you kill the uh, thumper. This section just always spawns sentients. So I've got one, okay? So I'm going to get this one. I'm going to make it melee, and now it's just going to follow me melee in. And I'm going to try and guide. So there's another one there. Watch. It's going to do this. I'm going to guide this one as well. That's a battleist. So there should be two battleists here. So there's one. I'm looking for the second battleist. He'll spawn back up there. I'm missing uh, one. There's one. No, guys, don't kill it. Come here, come here, come here. All right, that's fine. I've got him. This is why you you don't want your group with you. You see, now I've got three of these here. Try and get one. Try and get these two low. <sighs> Normally, they would group up right here, okay? If you want to, keep killing. Oh, okay, here we go. This will do. So that, so deads, deads, deads. That's five. Five and three seconds, okay? So that would be the challenge done right there. You can get three of those melees. And then look, if, you, if I just stand still, look, they've respawned again. So don't worry. If you mess up and you only got four, you can basically redo this again. There will always be two battlers here and you can round up three of these melees. I've tried to round up four of them, but for some unknown reason, the fourth one wouldn't round up with me. Maybe it rounds up with you guys. Maybe it just doesn't like me. Okay, but if you need that challenge, this is where I did it. And look, I also got the armor thing done as well. So two birds, one stone, all right? Um, but practice it around this area. So I'll just show you where I am on the minimap. I'll hold still. No pixels, no compression. So it's going to be in this little area here, okay? And that should be it. That should be the entire thing done, all right? Again, feel free to go and browse around. If if this isn't this week's rotation... Oh, there's four ramparts, is there? Where's the fourth rampant? Sorry, chat's telling me there's a fourth rampant. There is a fourth rampant. It's there. I see it. There, yeah, I see it. Okay, I said there was three rampants. I apologize. There is a fourth one. I didn't see this one up here. Oh, this one gives you the angle for down there. The I apologize. I did go and say, because when the thumper goes down that area, you can't get it from this rampant and you can't get it from that rampant. So this is the rampant that you need to go and stun it down there. Thank you so much, chat. I appreciate that. I got that wrong. I didn't see the fourth rampant. But anyways, everything else should be pretty straightforward. You should have got your gene stamps by now. You should have got your veils removed. You should have uh, not died. Um, uh, you should have just basically got everything done at this point, okay? You've done the quest. You've done everything. It took me 22 minutes, and that's just with me talking to you. Now just leave, okay? Uh, if you want to go and be a little bit role play, you can go and bring your team with you. Come on, squad. Let's go. And then you're just going to run up here and then leave. Now, on the off chance that things happen to rotate, this guide may potentially become a little bit unuseful. I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, but we'll see what happens. If they add different challenges in, so forth. Just check little crevices like this. See, like this little area. Check these kind of areas. 
um, if the challenges are different in the future, okay? I Maybe I can update you guys and give you a new guide, but otherwise, as I'm running towards the exit here, I'm just going to go and wrap up. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, this helped you guys out where to go and look, what you're looking for. Um, this week, like I said, they're set for everybody. The only thing that's not set is the gene stamps, but so long as you know where the dead bodies are, you can basically rotate to them, all right? Everything else is really straightforward. This week was way easier than last week, okay? But if you've got any questions, hit me up inside the comment section below. And uh, as per usual, if you guys do like the video, go ahead and leave a like. It does help me. And please share the video with a friend. If there's anybody else out there who's returning to Warframe or needs help with Warframe or guidance or whatever, share the video. And uh, as per usual, uh, I'll see you guys again on the next video. Subscribe if you need. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>